how it started versus how it's going. Hey guys, this is Neon. This is Clownfish TV. We're going to talk about the comic book industry. We're going to talk about DC Comics and um, the fact that the uh, the mainstream media seems to be wising up to things that YouTubers have been saying for quite some time now, that uh, DC Comics might be looking to outsource its comic books uh, to another party because, you know, we know David Zaslav just don't care. He don't care. Uh, he will do what he has to do to save money, and it does cost a lot of money to run a possibly profitable comic book division. Uh, not the kind of money that they're looking for, but, you know, somebody else could actually pay Warner Brothers for the right to publish DC Comics. And this has been talked about at length for quite some time. I know Ethan Van Skyver, former DC comic book artist, um, turned YouTuber, turned caustic, caustic Twitter personality, has uh, said that he had kind of the inside track that they were thinking of it. Uh, we have heard on the Marvel side of things, on the Disney side of things, that they were thinking about outsourcing their comic books back in 2017. And they, they kind of started that with IDW, and then that wound up being a colossal failure, so they pulled back on it. And uh, I guess Rich Johnston said he had heard that there was some interest from uh, Robert Kirkman, some other people, about getting the uh, DC license. And now comic book resources, late to the party as always. Uh, now they are agreeing with Ethan Van Skyver, believe it or not, uh, agreeing with other YouTubers about the state of DC. And, you know, I, I tend to believe that this is a possibility, especially with David Zaslav making the cuts he's making and comic books not being terribly profitable. Uh, right now, they seem to be more trouble than they're worth. And if you've got somebody like Todd McFarlane who will come along and give you money for the right to publish comic books, why the hell wouldn't you take it? Why wouldn't you take the money and run? Run, get the hell out of comics. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 276,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Um, we do talk about the comic book industry sometimes. I used to work in comics. Uh, I worked mostly on licensed comics, Disney comics, which is, uh, you know, why I heard back in 2017 from someone at Disney Publishing Worldwide that, uh, yeah, Disney actually was looking to outsource their Marvel comics at that point in time. And I got blasted, man. I got blasted. This is before, you know, I started talking about this stuff on YouTube. I was actually running another Disney blog. But uh, yeah, people were like, no, that's ridiculous. A, a, a publisher like Marvel or DC would never outsource their comics. I'm like, dude, like Disney has outsourced its comics since like the 1940s, 1950s. You know, Dell published most Disney comics. There are numerous uh, Disney comics licensees out there. And they basically just have a couple of office managers overseeing the, uh, the product and that's it. It's no different to them than making t-shirts, you know, or making coloring books or anything like that. And I could totally see David Zaslav doing the same thing with DC comics. And it's clear DC comics doesn't really give a shit about the <laughs> characters anymore. I mean, look, Hey, I, I don't want to, I don't want to dunk on this artist. Um, I think this this style works for indie comics. But this is not Tim Drake. What the hell is this? This is not Tim Drake. And this is supposed to be another dude? No. 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 Yes. This is Tim Drake and Tim Drake's boyfriend. Um, supposedly in what is a mainline Batman comic book. And again, uh, this works for indie comics, I think. This does not work for a Batman title. Again, how it started, how it's going. <laughs> you know? So let's talk about the, the rumors here. Uh, we did an article on it a couple of weeks ago. And uh, you know, we did say that uh, you know, Ethan Van Skyver has been talking about it for a couple of years. Uh, things are in chaos over at DC Comics. It's, it's very obvious that things are bad. Things are not good. They're canceling, you know, a $95 million Batgirl movie, they would have no qualms whatsoever about outsourcing their comic books to somebody who actually just wants to make comic books and action figures and stuff like that, and they can focus on, you know, billion-dollar movies. Uh, coming from CBR, better late than never, I guess, DC Comics potentially licensing its characters is revolutionary for comics. No, this has actually been going on for a very long time. Again, most Disney comics. 
have been licensed out for decades, decades. Anyway, DC's properties may be getting licensed out more in adaptations, and this trend could revolutionize the trajectory of comic books as well. Uh, DC Comics is one of many properties owned by the multimedia conglomerate now known as Warner Brothers Discovery. The potential of the characters of the DCU exists across movies, TV shows, cartoons, video games, and comic books. In the case of many of the former, it seems that current company president David Zaslav wishes to begin licensing, licensing out DC's lineup. That's a rumor. I don't know if it's been confirmed. I have no idea. Uh, such actions may soon be reflected in the comics as well. Licensing out DC's heroes for use in other publishers' work opens the door wide open to get even more readers flocking to DC Comics. Good luck with that. <laughs> There's been a lot of damage done. Other than Batman, it's all, it's all burning down. It's already being explored via an upcoming crossover with Todd McFarlane's Pride and Joy Spawn and could even see a DC crossover with Marvel Comics once again. Here's how licensing out DC characters could completely change the game in comic books. They'll sell? They'll actually sell more? I, I don't know. Zazlav is letting others create DC-related content. Yeah, uh, the Batman cartoon and Constantine, they're shopping them around. You know, so they don't have to pay the bill. It's like, hey, you want to make a Batman show? Cool, pay us. You want to make, uh, you want to make a, Bat, a Batgirl movie? Sure, pay us. The idea is trickling down to comic books with Image Comics founder Todd McFarlane working on a comic that pits Batman against Spawn. Again, I think they did this before. Beforehand, McFarlane had actually been hesitant to directly work with DC on a comic book, but his level of hype and the success of both the Batman and Spawn properties is undeniable to either party. Mark Silvestri, another Image founder, is going to be working on a Batman title, though this is only under uh, DC's stable through their black label imprint. Is that still a thing? Nevertheless, it's obvious the door is open for more intercompany crossovers a la the 1990s. A la the 1990s. A la? A la? A la. A la carte. Uh, this could see more creators outside of DC working on their characters. A few Batman comics are one thing, but DC licensing out characters could see the Justice League and the Teen Titans and everyone in between show up in books otherwise have nothing to do with DC comics. They could do Fortnite. They could do that, that Batman... Phase Clan comic, which is one of the worst things I've ever, ever, ever seen. Um, they say it could be a separate continuity published by another company, similar to what Marvel Action did to IDW. That was a test, as I understand it. And that happened about, about a year after I heard they were thinking about it, uh, that they were strongly inclined to nope out of publishing comic books for a variety of reasons. At that point in time, it was like 2017. There were articles, there were mainstream articles out there talking about how terrible the uh, the mainstream comic book industry was Marvel in particular that Marvel now had imploded that sales were down that uh, every conceivable mistake that could have been made under Axel Alonso had been made and the company was a laughing stock and at that point Disney was like we can't have this let's just outsource it all and be done with it and now you know what they're doing you know what they're doing now yeah they're making movies and TV shows based off those god awful comics that almost tanked the comic book publisher just a few years ago. Brilliant, brilliant strategy there, Disney. Way to go. Way to go. Um, so this, this guy, look, I'm not dunking on this guy. I'm just saying it's so funny that uh, comic book resources is, is finally catching up. They're finally catching up. Now, here's the thing. There, there is a lot of uh, evidence that this is happening again. Van Skyver has has said it repeatedly. You're not allowed to evoke his name unless you're Rich Johnston making fun of him. But even Rich Johnston said he had heard that, yeah, this is this is probably going to happen at some point. And anecdotally, there we go. But even this, I mean, come on. Come on. What is what? Come on. Um, remember when remember when Tim Drake was kind of a badass? Yeah, I love Tim Drake, Robin, man. I, I used to buy all the Robin comics. Yeah, anyway, anyway, uh, they're already they're already cutting staff. They're already cutting expenses. Um, you know, McFarlane, I don't think they brought up in the CBR article, but he's already producing comics for DC. Now, DC is publishing the comics, but McFarlane Productions is handling uh, the production. They're they're doing all the art, doing the stories, doing the coloring. 
This looks like something that would have definitely been on the Wizard uh, Top 10 list back in 1998. But uh, that's okay. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's what we need. Um, you know, somebody that actually gives a shit about comics and understands how to sell comics. And, you know, Todd McFarlane knows how to sell comics. I don't think DC knows how to sell comics anymore. I don't think they really care. I really don't. It just feels like they're um, kind of biding their time. You know, you ever see a movie when there's like a hopeless situation, like an alien invasion or something like a war movie. Does Tim Drake have tits? Tim Drake has tits. What the hell is this? Tim Drake has tits. Oh my God. Anyway, like, you know, when it's a hopeless situation and everybody becomes just kind of like suicidal and just going through the motions. And yeah, I was thinking about that with like War of the Worlds that, um, you know, the Steven Spielberg version where it's like, yep, might as well just let the aliens eat us, whatever, you know, whatever. It's all, that's kind of what's going on. It just feels like there's a sense of hopelessness at DC Comics and they're just like, yeah, whatever. You want to make so-and-so gay and draw it like Tintin? That's fine. Whatever. Can't hurt. Might as well try, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I think I think, um, I think think uh, somebody is going to take the keys away from Grandpa here pretty soon. Uh, I do believe, and I think, uh, you know, Jim Lee might be put out to pasture. It'd be ironic. It would be ironic if it was Todd McFarlane. I could see him being in his office, sitting in his office in the dark. Door opens, here comes Todd, and it's like, I knew it was going to be you. I knew it was going to be you. Todd puts his hand out and says, give me the keys, Jim. Give me the keys, Jim. You're drunk. Going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. <laughs>